out there on YouTube. <laughs> How now. now, brown cow? How sibilance, now. sibilance. <laughs> hey, everybody out there in YouTube land. I'm trying to do an intro. Oh, I'm sorry. We're here at Cypress Ridge Hunting Preserve. We are so happy to be back. We're doing a tower hunt today. We had a great time and uh, hopefully you'll see some awesome, awesome footage. Plus, we got a little something extra planned for you guys uh, featuring the dogs. We hope you like it, enjoy, and have fun. Thanks for watching. Shit. We both shot at the same time. I don't know who got that. <laughs> I don't one. either. I'll just say I did. Okay. Fuck his ass up. There you go. Kill him. Kill him. I got that one. Both show. So you just missed the one that went right over our head. The one that flew over our head? Yeah. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. You got that one. Kill him. Kill him, mama. Kill him. Catch him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Here we go. Making sure. Here we go. Here we go. Ah. Daddy's got to take a pickup shot. Get ready. There we go. Kill him. Yeah. No, that wasn't you. No. That was not you. Ah. You were reloading when I shot. Nah. -uh. Okay. We'll do it. We'll do a. We'll do a replay. No offense, but I thought she got it. No, no, no. Nice. Uh, no. Okay. Here we go. Kill him. Oh! <laughs> I got him. Okay. I did. You got him. Here you go. Molly, get it? Yeah! Here you go, Mama. Here you go. Kill him. There you go, Mama! Woo! Can't deny that one. Yeah! Here you go. Kill him. So, what do you think? Did you have fun? Blast. Did you get any birds? One confirmed kill. You definitely multiple got more clips. multiple wingings. I'm, I'm a winger. But overall, you enjoyed yourself yeah. and you definitely got some birds. I did. And now we're going to go have a great lunch and enjoy ourselves and probably talk about birds that we didn't shoot, but say we shot them. Right? Or clean birds that we did shoot, but it was really someone else. Rob? I'm a killer. It was mine. I'm a killer. In reality, Chris had probably shot most of the birds, and Rob was like, I got it. That was mine. I shot it. That's exactly what happened. Just on a little the, tape, the tapes don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It will be a proof of the tape. We'll see. Yeah, we'll Actually, see. by this point, they will have seen. So yeah. you be the judge. Leave a comment below. All right. Bye. Hey guys, Ollie from Blackbeard's Armory here with you again. We just got through with our hunt. We had an awesome time and now we're here with the pros here at Cypress Ridge Hunting Preserve and they are going to start cleaning up these uh, birds for us. Now we were uh, shooting a uh, pheasant today during our tower hunt and uh, I just wanted to uh, take a minute and show you guys what this looks like because these folks go through a lot of trouble to make this experience a nice one for us and I think that their hard work you know, kind of goes unnoticed sometimes. So wanted to make sure that you saw what they do. And uh, that way we can just take home some nice cleaned up birds and uh, enjoy them when we get home. So what are you guys uh, doing here? Clipping wings first so we can breast them. All right. If you don't clip the wings, you can't breast them. Right, exactly. 
So we got an array of hens and uh, roosters here. Mm -hmm. Both. Really nice plumage on some of these birds. Good colors on them. Awesome. All right. So you just, there you go. And it's just that easy. You just grab them. Pull apart. Now walk me through what you just did there. So you, actually, why don't you show me on the next one if you could. All right. So. Caleb, you should be good at this. We already did one of these videos. Right. <laughs> oh, did you? Yes. Awesome. Yeah, but it was a little different. Yeah, I, I was a little. Different. That's all right. Exaggerated a little bit with it, but. There we go. All right. So clipping off the wing there. Right. Nice big yeah, rooster. Amazing. Awesome. You already got the birds that they were going to mount. What? And there you're just grabbing what from the belly and yeah, pulling just up? Yeah, grab feathers from the belly bird. Okay. towards the end of the bird. And the skin is pretty pretty weak, I guess? Depends sometimes. Sometimes a bird, little. And then you little spread it apart? Breast, spread it apart. Grab it by the bottom of the breast. Okay. Pull him up. Nice. Get from the top of the breast, stick your finger in. Uh-huh. Grab the top of the bird. Pull him apart. But Tear sometimes it, off. it don't always come apart. Sometimes it just rips it all apart. Yeah. Okay. And then but pretty easy to clean up. Yep. Awesome. So there you have it cut and dry um, we're gonna go now and enjoy some good lunch and uh, let these folks do their good work and we sure do appreciate it thanks guys Thank you. hey gang Ollie from the future here you know while I was putting this video together I wanted to give a proper introduction uh, to the dogs and the handlers that we wanted to feature in this video um, one of the things that we thought was the most fun about our time at the Cypress Ridge Hunting Preserve was watching the handlers and their dogs retrieve the birds. Now that might not sound like a big deal, but when you look at the dogs and when you realize how much work went into training the dogs so that they can actually do what they do, it's pretty impressive. So we've put together a little um, video here of the dogs retrieving the birds and doing their things and the, the handlers working with them. Um, and we absolutely love it and, and we love to watch them. So hope you enjoy this uh, little clips uh, as much as we did putting them together. Thanks. I'm Eric Worrell. Um, we're out here at the uh, Cypress Ridge Hunting Preserve for the pheasant shoot. Um, they release the birds out of the towers and we use the dogs actually to go retrieve them and you know helps helps the clean up at the end and you know everybody likes to watch the dogs work as well so awesome and who's this here this is a uh, Romy he's a Deutsch Drothar got him out of uh, out of Tennessee and he's a uh, primarily a waterfowl dog but we use him for you know just about anything so all right and how long have you guys been working together uh, he's a he's a year and a half old now so all right oh so he's pretty pretty young then huh oh yeah he's still he's still a puppy yeah, no, he's uh, <laughs> he's already. He looks like he's ready to work right now. <laughs> All right, and uh, when did you start uh, training him? Uh, day one, day one when we picked him up, he was. Uh, you know, it, it's it starts from their puppy. Okay. And it's a, it's an ongoing process. He's by no means, you know, finished. I don't think they're ever finished. They can always use work, and they can always, you know, they always need the practice and the and the repetitions, just like anybody else would. So. And what are some of the things that you try to focus on during the actual hunt and? Um, I'd say for out here especially, um, just with so much going on, there's a lot of shooters, um, the steadiness with them is important. Um, having them, you know, not, not running out while people are shooting and not taking off on you, so making sure that they're waiting for you to send them um, when it's safe. Um, you know, you have a lot of amateur shooters out here sometimes, which is, which is great that people can come out and experience mm -hmm. it, um, but it is something we got to consider with the dogs just to keep them safe. Um, and make sure so they're going only when they're supposed to go. Right. So awesome. Well, we can't wait to watch him work, and uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. Yeah, absolutely. Heel. Sit. No. Nope. All right. We're out here at the Cypress Ridge Hunting Preserve, and we got Chad. Chad, how you doing, buddy? How's it going, man? Hey, um, good we're to out see here. you again, man. We're out here with our dogs, Romy, Alfred. Um, these are Deutsch Drothars. They're a versatile hunting dog breed um, from Germany. Uh, our breeder is Wirewolf Drothars from Tennessee, um, and Mitch and Joy do a great job. Um, the coolest thing about the Drothars that I found was the community is a really tight community. They do a lot of hunting testing, and um, you can go and test your dog, but also learn how to do all the different training you need. The people there are extremely experienced, um, and our breeders especially, uh, since we got these dogs, have been walking us through the process of training them ourselves. And, um, making them not just good hunting dogs, but good family dogs. So 
from day one they were walking us through everything and I think that was such a cool experience to have with you know my first hunting dog mm -hmm. to have help teaching him and getting him to be the dog that I wanted to be awesome so, man well we can't wait to see uh, your dog work today and uh, we will catch up with you afterwards if we can and get yeah that'd be awesome it. awesome let's see thanks, some good shooting today. all right let's have a good hunt All right, we're here with Chad and Megan. We just had an awesome hunt, and of course, it was uh, thanks in no small part to you guys. You did an amazing job with the dogs, and hopefully, it'll come out on camera. I got, I think we got some good ones. And Megan, you were you were working the, the camera a little bit, so thank you for that. Um, so we were just kind of chatting a little bit about handling dogs and and you know what to think about when you're actually working and, and training your animal. Um, what in in your mind is one of the things that probably was the key to your success in terms of getting a dog that's uh, you know, effective when you actually go out on a hunt and you're dealing with gunfire and, you know, guests that want to pet your dog and all kinds of other distractions. What do you think? Oh, I think the biggest thing uh, whenever you're working with a dog uh, is consistency. Um, if if they're not responding right away, you don't want to get hard on them. I mean, look at him right now. He'll sit. Uh, you just keep working at it. Um, do it over and over and over again. They'll respond to that uh, consistency throughout. So. If you're, if you're gonna teach them something, you need to be consistent with having them do that thing. You can't let them have slack on it. If you don't want them on the couch, they can't be on the couch. Um, the same thing goes when you're training them for hunting. Um, 
I'll show patience. You don't want to be getting mad at your dog. They're not going to respond well to that. Um, yeah, just you know, build a relationship with them, and at the end of the day, you're going to have the best hunting buddy you could ever have. That's awesome. So glad you guys have fun. We had a great time as always. Thank you so much. And uh, again, if you guys are interested in uh, checking out a great tower hunt uh, for anybody who's a novice to a professional shooter, if you want to come out to Cypress Ridge Hunting Preserve, of course, you guys can come out here and probably meet uh, Chad, Megan, and uh, Alfred in person. And uh, <laughs> Alfred, any parting words? <laughs> He's like, I want to go again. Yeah, Alfred's ready to go back out. All right, thanks, guys. Absolutely. Signing off. Bye-bye. Thank Bye -bye. you so much.